I feel like everything Nick can do, we can do. Yeah. So I, That's what I was going to ask you. I mean, do you, do you feel like Chase, for example, is up to this task full time? You know what I mean? I mean oh, yeah. And why? Why? What tells you that? Well, he's been I mean, playing I, a lot, I, I know. But. I, I, I mean, I've worked out with the guy for the past two years now. Yeah. I know what type of guy he is. Uh, I mean, we're, we're bros, so is he up to the task? I mean, I don't feel like that's the question. Coach Giano said, uh, and I asked about your performance, he said you've done everything right. You haven't had the production that you maybe want just because the things aren't going to your direction. But I mean, how do you feel that's gone, that part of things? Um, you know, I feel like as long as you, our coaches really emphasize doing your job. And at the end of the day, if you do your job, all the people do their job are going to have a chance to win. And even though, you know, making all the plays here and there, as long as I can do my job and help this team win, I feel like that's that's good. I feel I feel like the plays are going to come with doing your job and keep going hard. That the plays are just going to come to you. You feel like you played well. The last game. Last three games. Last, last three games. Yeah, I do. I feel like uh, last game TCU game was my best game. Why so? Uh, so because I mean I was out there for more than uh, two quarters, you know. Right, right. And I mean it was a real game, and I mean feeling when we saw Nick go down, people had to step up, and I feel like I stepped up to the plate and. Gave it all I got and made plays out there. So, in your room, uh, what's it like in your room? Three guys have scored touchdowns. <laughs> yeah. What's that like in, in that room and stuff? I mean, is is it obviously it's a remarkable start for you guys yeah. and stuff? But is there now a budding, building competition there? Or? Uh, scoring touchdowns. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would. I don't know. I mean, we we set a goal to ourselves to be the best D line in the nation. So with it, scoring touchdowns, I mean, it's a big thing. Of course, I feel like I'm gonna get my touchdown this room, but like, yeah. <laughs> like I, I don't, I don't, know. I don't feel like there's a competition scoring touchdowns. We, our goal is just to score on defense, and we can do that any, any way possible. I hate to ask a bummer of a question after that one, but uh, what's happening when some of these long runs that the, the defense is giving up? Uh, wait, wait. Like the like the 93 yard run. I mean, there's been a couple times that the, the defense has been gashed this year. Is that? A schematic issue, an execution issue. What's what's going on there? That that's. Um, I wouldn't really know how to respond to that. I feel I feel like though that whatever whatever uh, is going on, we're going to get it fixed. As a defensive, as a defensive unit, talking to our defensive coaches, whatever the problem is, to for those runs to keep happening, we're going to get it fixed. We're going to get it fixed in practice, and then on the games, you'll see the results. Why? Right? What is it that they're telling you that this gives you that? You, you said talking to your defensive coaches, you, you have confidence that the issue, whatever it is, is going to be fixed. What is it that they're telling you that you're like, yep? Uh, just seeing how much work we put in every single day. You know, Tuesdays and Wednesdays going really hard, running to the ball. If we do it in practice, it's going to naturally come in the game. So, uh, you said you had to learn. we got to wrap it up with Jonathan. Um, you got an upbeat personality, right? You're a mm -hmm. pretty happy guy. How much has that <laughs> served you well and having to be patient? Uh, what do, you, what do you mean? I mean, you, you seem like the kind of guy, I don't know you well, but you seem like the kind of guy, half the class, half the whole guy. Coming in as a five-star guy, having the wait your time, some guys, like I said, that'd be a hard thing, but you seem to handle it pretty well. Is that your personality? Uh, yeah, I mean, with stuff like that, I just know that I trust myself when it comes to putting in the time, putting in the work. You know, I feel like other guys might take it as like, oh man, I'm supposed to be the guy up front, but I know that my time's gonna come. I know my time is here now, and it's just time to step up. And I mean, yeah, I'm an upbeat guy after you, but I'm also am a really uh, fierce competitor when it comes to playing and stuff and just going out there and contributing. But I mean, for the most part, I feel like uh, I just know that my time is gonna come. I know my time is here now. So. Jonathan, you Great. said you guys want to be the best Jonathan. defensive line. Clemson is probably the other team in the conversation there. Do you look at, at them and like try and raise the bar based on how, how these guys perform? I mean, or other, you know, if there's other defensive lines around the country? Yeah, we watch defensive lines across the nation, see how they're doing and stuff. Um, we see how like they're pass rushing, they're stopping the run and stuff like that, and we try to raise our game just to show that we are the best. But I mean, as far as like comparing stats, I don't, I coach might do that, but as far as like the players go, we just, we, we're confident in ourselves that we are the best. So, so you guys are number one? Yes, sir. All right. Thanks,